Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So I grilled a whole fish yesterday and there was some leftovers today and I decided to make some fish cakes. I thought it would be great to show you guys what to do with leftover fish, so here you go. So here's my leftover grilled fish. There wasn't too much left but it's the perfect amount for fish cakes. I took a big pot and I added potatoes. I used, uh, I boiled more than I needed because I wanted some for a different recipe. Make sure you prick them with a fork because this makes them cook faster. And I didn't peel them because there was no peeler in the house. So, but this works as well. Cover your potatoes halfway and you then want to add salt. Be generous with the salt because if it's too little then your potatoes will have a very bland taste. So. There I go, I tasted the, the water to make sure it was salted enough. Kind of like sea water, that's what you're looking for. I also added a little cumin powder and boiled until everything was soft. Lucky for me, there was a potato masher in the house, so I was able to mash four potatoes. I then added my fish back, my fish into the potato mixture. You want to make sure you cautiously remove all bones. To that I added garam masala and some turmeric powder, followed by black pepper, about a teaspoon, or half a teaspoon I'd say. I didn't want it too spicy for the kids. A little salt. Taste your potatoes with salt before you kind of judge how much salt you're going to add in there. And then I added about five crushed cloves of garlic and a squeeze of one lemon. Mm. I love the taste of lemon in fish cakes. I feel like it brings everything together. You then want to just mush everything with your hand. Make sure everything is well mixed. The fish, the potatoes, so it's all like, so every time you pick up, you know, a little bit of that mix, there's an equal ratio of potato and fish. Not that you just get one whole handful of potatoes and no fish. Get a side plate and start taking tablespoonfuls of the mixture and just form little patties or little cakes. So you just form a ball and then flatten it. And there you go. So repeat until you're done with all your potato fish mixture. And now let's make our egg coating. I added one egg and a tablespoon of flour. I also put a little water in there. Makes us easier with a whisk. And again, I was lucky there was a whisk in the house. So I then dunked my patties in the egg mixture and then fried them up. I was really lazy, so I put everything in a pan, which is not recommended. You should always fry a smaller batch at a time. But man, I was tired and just lazy. Since everything's already mixed, you don't have to cook it for too long. Just brown the sides from each side. I served this with a salad and it was a great meal enjoyed by all. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to hit subscribe and also click the little bell that's next to, next to the subscription button. I think that's where it is. And that way you'll get notified when a new video comes out. As always, happy cooking!